Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to EDCNC. My name is Samuel and today we're going to be checking out the best budget fix blades. Let's check it out. So what do I consider budget? Well, I would say $75 and under. Now that might vary for whoever you are, but I have quite a few different price ranges on this list. So with that being said, let's get into it. So the first fixed blade we'll talk about is this one right here from Outdoor Element. I picked this one up actually this year at Georgia Bushcraft. It's a really cool little fixed blade, VG10 steel. Uh, really a CRKT minimalist kind of silhouette to this thing, but it has a lot of really cool features like a whistle, a quarter inch driver there that goes along with the ferro rod that's built into the sheath. It also has a little pull through sharpener on there, a belt clip, and a little lanyard hole spot to make it a neck knife or whatever. But yeah, that little quarter inch uh, driver right there goes on top of the ferrocerium rod and you can unscrew it, replace it, use it as a new one, or just use it as a quarter inch wrench. It also has this awesome little thumb placement here for whittling, carving, whatever you want to do, little precise cuts. If you're getting this for someone who doesn't really know anything about knives, it's pretty idiot proof because like right here on top it says strike. And of course it's got the whistle and those little features. So it's a really cool little neck knife to carry around with you and to slip into any kind of little survival kit or anything you have because of course you can never have enough knives, never enough way to start a fire. This is the outdoor element fixed blade. Up next is this one from CRKT. This is the Razel. Now this one is really neat. CRKT released a model years ago that was the Razel folding knife and it had a very similar blade shape to this but this is the fixed blade version. D2 and a chisel ground blade. Boy, this thing is cool. Micarta scales with some G10 pins and also G10 spacers between the liners. This thing's beautiful and useful. If you do a lot of scraping, this tip right here is gonna do a lot of work for you. It has a pretty nice Kydex sheath with some drainage holes and it has this kind of janky pocket clip on here it doesn't work very well but these holes on the side might line up with like a tech lock or a ulti clip something like that so you could turn in this into an actually usable sheath in the pocket it also has a really acute tip right here where the two edges meet so if opening packages whatever you want to do with it it will penetrate and do really well. This is the CRKT Razel. Up next is probably the best budget fixed blade. This is the Vostede Mink. Nitro V Steel Micarta Handles. An absolutely amazing clip point blade. The jimping is in the right place, not only back here at the back where the jimping typically is, but also further up the blade. So you can really choke up here either with the fingertip of your pointer finger or you can slide your thumb up there. A wonderful sharpening choil, a great heel to protect your finger from sliding up on the blade, and just great construction. And instead of being pinned, this is also screwed together so you can take it apart and put it back together. It has a really good sheath. Now, it did not come with this ulti clip. It actually comes with like a mini tech lock style clip, but I put this one on there for pocket carry and it works fantastic. Fantastically. I love this knife. This is the Vostede Mink. Now the next two, I said the budget was $75 and you can find these for $75, but some of them are going to be more expensive, so be careful where you shop. This one specifically is the Essie Azula. Now you are not going to find it in this variant right here with the Micarta Scales. You're going to find the skeletonized version on Blade HQ. They have them there for $75 bucks all day. And if you want to buy it now, save up a little bit and get the Micarta Scales. It's absolutely worth it. This has been one of my favorite fixed blades that I've had. I had it put such a wicked edge on it and then dropped it on the concrete, chipped it all to pieces, and I haven't gotten around to fixing it. But it's a great little knife, lightweight, good neck knife. This one came with this camo sheath. I bought this from a dude on the secondary market. I don't know what you'll get with it, but this one wasn't fantastic because this is the reason I dropped it on the concrete. It kind of shook out of the sheath and fell onto the concrete. So I don't love that about it, but I'm not sure what the stock sheaths are like. So just do your research on that before you buy one. But I really like this knife, great ergonomics. 1095 steel great knife this is the se azula and last but not least this guy right here this is the lt right patriot comes in this fantastic leather sheath very small doesn't have much of a footprint on your belt and then the knife itself also doesn't have much of a footprint this is such a tiny little guy with what looks like about a two and a half inch blade 
A1 or A2 tool steel. You can get this in all kinds of different steels, though. Uh, Carry Commission did, not the Patriot. I don't remember which one they did. They did one similar to this, though, with uh, Magna Cut and Python Micarta. But if you can get a hold of one of these guys, they are awesome. Again, this is one of those that can go for more than 75. And if you can find them in stock for 75, you found a good thing. Pick that up. But the LT Wright Patriot, oh, it's so fantastic. Great for whittling, great for little everyday carry tasks. And it goes on the belt, and you don't even realize it's there. I love this little guy. This is the LT Wright Patriot. And something else I'm going to throw in here is this guy from WorkSharp. This is the Field Sharpener. I believe these come in right around 30 bucks. But set aside fixed blades, just knives in general, this is fantastic for having around. It's got a ceramic rod back here, and it's got two different stones. It's got a coarse and a fine, a 20-degree angle guide. It'll also sharpen fish hooks, broadheads, serrated knives, stuff like that. And it has a leather strop on the back. But if you're out in the field or if you're just out using your knives every day and you want to keep a good hair popping edge on your knife, not much better than this, especially that ceramic rod. That's what gets the most use on this thing in total. So if you don't have one of these, pick one up. Absolutely great. Link's down in the description below for that. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. This is day number six of the 12 Days of Christmas. We are halfway there. Again, stick around for Christmas Eve because there will be a big surprise coming then. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day and God bless.